Now, some years ago, while I was working as a tree surgeon, stripping out a large oak tree, when I got to the top to make my final cuts, unfortunately, I had a kickback from the top handle saw I was using and sustained quite heavy injury to my chest. Um, I was able to get myself out of the tree and on the way down, I called down for the guys to bring the first aid kit from the vehicle. Uh, when they arrived, it was a little plastic box from the transit van that had a couple of eye patches and a, uh, a load of sawdust in it. And that got me thinking that there was a massive lack of both training and equipment suitable for the type of injuries that are faced by guys working in our industry. My name is Jamie. I'm one of the instructors on the of specific first aid course run by Galahad Associates in association with TreeKit. When we were designing this course, we identified the key injuries faced by guys working in the tree industry. Catastrophic bleeds caused by chainsaws and other heavy machinery, falls from height causing a spinal injury, and also objects falling from height, again causing spinal injuries. So this course has been designed around two key pieces of equipment. Come application tourniquet, which is a uh, great bit of kit, standard issue to all British and allied troops. And this is designed to very quickly stop a catastrophic bleed from arms or legs. The second piece of equipment is the emergency care bandage or hemorrhage control bandage. Again, this is standard issue to uh, the British military and it's designed to apply pressure to a wound and bring quite heavy bleeding under control very quickly. Once Jamie made it clear that we needed to keep these items with us at all times, I could see a problem, what to keep them in. It was my job to come up with a solution. I'm Mike, founder of Silver Ball. I've been developing products for the ARB industry for 12 years. It was important we carry these items in some form of bag that could be attached to every harness. It was essential that the trauma pack should be small and compact and in case of an injury, you'd need to be able to get hold of these items with one hand. As with other products in the Silver Ball range, we decided on a heavy grade tarpaulin to give durability and to keep the contents clean and dry. After several stages of development and several prototypes, we eventually came up with a personal ARB trauma kit. It's small, robust and easily opened one-handed. 